This is Frank Magaletti from New York Experimental and No Apologies Workshop. Today I'm going to be talking to you about our minigun prop project from the Fallout video game series. We were thrilled to have an opportunity to be part of the World Maker Fair in 2018 in New York. We were in the middle of our shop renovation when we got the great news that we were accepted. We had to finish renovating, so that gave us just three weeks to start and complete our projects for the fair. We wanted to talk about how you can build anything with EVA foam for cosplay. My wife decided to build a full set of power armor from the Fallout video games using foam formats, and she needed a cool prop to go with it. One of the most popular power armor accessories in the game is the legendary minigun. So we decided that we had to build one. We entered the minigun in World Maker Fair's very first cosplay prop contest. We were accepted, but we weren't prepared for how much love and attention this minigun got at the fair. Actually, we got a little too much love. And due to the wear and tear, we just couldn't present it. That's when we knew we had to talk about this project. Since we only had three weeks, we had to design the build, create all the SDL files, print all the parts using PETG filament, sand them, paint them, and assemble everything. We used PVC pipe for the barrel, a popcorn tin for the ammo case, and a drill to make that barrel spin. Since we couldn't use real bullets, we molded and casted them out of a flexible urethane, and then we painted them to look appropriate. So during the design process of making the minigun, we knew we had a challenge that was gonna come up. Uh, the challenge was powering the unit, right? We wanted the barrel to spin, like a minigun does. So in order to make this spin, we needed to power it somehow. So we knew a drill was gonna be our answer, but, this sits in the front of the gun, and the gun's actual trigger is all the way back here. So if I was to quickly show, so the back of the gun, you know, the trigger's back here, the drill's gonna be up here. Well, that's not gonna work, so how do you, how do, you do it? Simple. After a couple of days of thinking about it and trying to really work it out, we did come up with the solution. So what we did was we wired up a junction wire from the motor, bypassing the trigger on the drill itself. We locked the trigger on so that now that just, it is what it is. And then I wired this to our minigun's remote trigger. So now when you are holding the gun up and you're ready to go in your, your photo or whatever you're doing, you're powering it from this and not the drill in the middle of the can. Thus, keeping the silhouette of our minigun like a minigun. We didn't have enough time to do everything the exact way we wanted to. So we had to cut corners on the design like with the handle and the trigger. But I plan to redesign it in the future, maybe even do a more in-depth video about the build. Maker Faire is an unforgettable experience that we are so proud to be part of.